Seriously, Kiwi? Seriously? Well, what's up guys? Oh, welcome back to our channel and happy new year. We are now in 2018 and I thought that I would start off this year with first off explaining where we have been, what's been going on, and most of you guys asked for an update video. So that's what I'm giving you guys today. I basically like wrote down all the little stuff that has happened so that I don't forget to mention anything. But I'm gonna make this as quick as possible to get you guys up to date with where we are at now so we could move on from this whole month and a half of like not posting to back to posting right regularly and revamping our channel and all that good stuff. Basically, I'm gonna take you guys to when we got back from Mexico. We got back from Mexico on November 9th. So about a week after, on the Friday from November 9th, when we got back, Ariana got sick and she got very sick and her sickness lasted 14 days. 14 days of high fever, sore throat, muscle pain, um, runny nose, like you name it, she had it all. It was really, really bad. And about after a week, we took her to the hospital because we thought that her sickness would like clear up, but it didn't. So after a week, we took her to the hospital, rushed her in ambulance to the hospital. Um, once we got to the hospital, we still had to wait 10 damn hours at the hospital it was really irritating and we waited 10 hours just for them to tell us that she is she has a virus and when people talk about like being sick and having a cold that this what she has a 14 day cold is a real cold so that's what she had and the nurse just told us to keep giving her advil and tylenol and that her body is creating whatever to like fight the virus. During that time that she was sick, she was getting hallucinations and her hallucinations were when she had fevers. And this was the first time for us that Ariana hallucinated while she had a fever. We looked it up online, apparently it's normal. But for us, the first time that we seen it, we flipped shit. <laughs> okay, I flipped shit. Um, she was sleeping and she just woke up. She started crying. She started, um, it looked like she was sleep talking because she was up, she was awake, she was crying and she was scared of something but she couldn't articulate words and she wasn't focusing on us. She was looking all over like this. Um, in her hallucinations she had a couple, I'm gonna tell you guys the main ones. Um, she had a hallucination that me and Alex were jumping on top of her when we weren't because we were literally right in front of her asking her what's going on while we we're asking her what's going on she was apparently seeing that are the two other ones that i'm about to tell you is kind of friggin scary so as you guys know there's a blog that we posted a while ago about me having like a ghost experience or like sensing a ghost and like weird s stuff happening like around the house and this related to me a lot when Ariana was having hallucinations about it but obviously Alex being the man that he is you know like those typical people in movies that don't ever listen to what their kids saying thinks that it is nothing and it's just a hallucination but I don't so she hallucinated um in her room one time and she didn't even have a fever all I heard was her whining and I was like Ariana are you okay? And she wasn't answering me as she was still whining. So I shot out, out of my bed and I went in her room and she was sitting up and then she was just petting the cat. She stopped whining and I was like, are you okay? I lay her back down. She didn't want to talk yet. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, Ariana, are you okay? What's wrong? She tells me that in like in her bed, the doorway is this way. Okay. So she said that she got up out of her sleep and from her doorway she seen shadow arms coming out of the darkness in the hallway and coming out she 
showed me. She reenacted it. Um, she said the arms came out like this in fists and we're going like this. What the fuck? <sighs> so I reassured her that it was in her dream. This is what I've been telling her ever since she like, you know, experiences stuff like this. I tell her that it's in her dream that, you know, she wasn't awake yet, so she was just seeing stuff and whatever. And then the next one, damn, what was it? Oh yes, okay. Um, we were in the living room and she was sleeping and she woke up, she was doing that whole thing where she wasn't registering us. And in that time when she wasn't registering us, she almost came back to like normal reality and she like jumped at something that was apparently beside her and like she was crying whatever looking at me and then she went <sighs> like that like something like touched her or something and I was like Ariana Ariana like what's wrong I didn't talk to her for like five minutes because I had to wait for her to register everything before she could actually vocalize something to me so when she was calm I asked her what was wrong like when you got scared of something beside you she said the dark figure that she sees um was standing beside her by the window she seen it by the window and I was like okay like yeah that's kind of scary um and for some reason I felt the need to ask her like does this Thing ever talk to you and she's like no but it did uh, she said no but it did two times and I was like okay what did it talk to you when I was like right there she said yes and I'm like well what did it say and she said that when it was by the window it was speaking in French and no it was speaking in English and I don't remember what she told me it said. And then another time when she was in her room, she did the same thing, freaking out. I ran to her room and she said that she seen a face by her TV area staring at her. And I never asked her like if she heard anything then, but she told me the time that the thing happened at the couch. Sorry if this is confusing, but she told me that that time that that happened, it asked her um, if she wanted to come and pet its cat because apparently that figure thing has a cat but Ariana said she's seen the cat and it's a very scary um, cat and it has teeth and whatever and it said that in French to her and she also told me that she has dreams she tells me that she has dreams Ugh, I don't know what to think about it because it's like I think that it's like real life but like dream I don't know whatever she told me that she had a dream that she was in this house but it was a different dimension of this house so it was like a dark version of this house and she was walking down the hallway where she's seen that cat so that's how she knows that the thing has a cat so I don't know to me I think that there is a different dimension of this house and it's a dark dimension and the last time that we had an experience with this ghost thing is when she slept in my bed because she got sick again that was after the 14 days recently she got sick again she's been sleeping with me and she woke up in terror and I told her that you need to let this thing know that you're not scared and you need to tell it to go away and you need to tell it that you're not allowed here. So I told her that and when she woke up crying, I helped her with it. I was like, Ariana, look at mommy. She wasn't quite there, but she was still saying it with me. We said three times, go away. You are not allowed here. Go away. You are not allowed here go away you are not allowed here and the third time that we said it together she calmed down she was calm and she went back to bed and haven't heard anything or sensed anything since then because i used to because i was very scared but now that my daughter has been really affected by this i felt like i needed to be 
less scared and be more brave for her so I'm hoping this thing is gone because if I sense something I say in my head go away you're not allowed here that's it anyways moving on that was very long but I felt like you guys needed to know that after the 14 days of sickness hallucinations all that stuff um I got a new job I will be working at CIBC Bank in Quebec City starting January 8th but it was a complicated process so that also like diminished the reasons why I was able to edit why I wasn't able to edit why we weren't able to film and why I didn't post video and next um you guys probably seen but I posted that Alex got into a car accident it was a three-way car accident um, and my plates on the car weren't paid, so we got a ticket for the plates, $500, great. And, uh, everyone was okay, Alex is okay, and the two other people were okay as well. But, that caused another dilemma in our reasons why we couldn't do anything. I started feeling like I was pregnant. Um, because I was having symptoms of really tiredness, I was having headaches, um, I was like peeing a lot, um, I was very moody, um, I was feeling very, very nauseous like every morning, maybe like three times a day feeling nauseous. So I thought I was pregnant, I went to the doctors and I got a blood test. I did do a pregnancy test at home, came out negative, but I wanted to do a blood test as well, so I did that. And the blood test came out negative, but it did come out positive for me having a thyroid gland failure. So my thyroid, my thyroid glands in my throat is not functioning properly, which causes all my symptoms. Nausea, um, peeing, it causes hair loss, it causes nail uh, brittleness. My nails are really shitty right now. So I'm taking medicine for that, so that is another reason why um, we weren't able to post and with that being said this all happened from the week after November 9th to right before Christmas so it was a month of just like crazy stuff going on which is why we weren't able to post and you know all this stuff with the car accident tickets and everything made me need to focus more on a different department than YouTube for that month because we needed more money um, to pay for certain stuff like the ambulance fees, all that stuff. Um, I needed more money. So I have a side job um, which probably none of you guys know of but I make YouTube intros, outros, and banners for people. So I will leave my link down below if it interests you guys and I could even show you guys a couple clips of what I have done.
but um, that is what I do on my side job and it has made me a lot of money and it is money that YouTube was not gonna give me I mean YouTube only gives me like 15 cents per video now so I had to prioritize making real money over YouTube for that month so I hope that clarifies everything and I hope you guys understand where we have been um, I know the recent videos that I've posted a lot more people are gone from our channel and I'm hoping to like I said revamp that in 2018 and bring everybody back bring new people and really start the Campos family on YouTube it's time for us to explode guys all right so I hope that you guys are excited and I hope you guys understand and I can't wait to see you guys on our next video okay so tune in for that turn your post notifications on and I will see you guys in our next video love you guys bye I, I, I